Let's learn how to do a front-facing radar calibration using the Bosch DAS-3000 and the ADS-625 scan tool. The scan tool will now scan the vehicle to determine which tools are applicable for the vehicle. Press OK to continue. Select ACC sensor adjustment to calibrate the adaptive cruise radar. Refer to the manufacturer's service manual for applicable warnings and follow these to prevent disabling a system. Press OK to continue. You will need the following equipment to perform this calibration. DAS 3000, target board, wheel clamps with alignment markers, target board hanger set, and bumper plate. Press continue to proceed. Before you begin the calibration, turn the ignition key on with the engine off. Press continue to proceed. Perform calibration when the sensor is reinstalled after removal, a new sensor is installed on a vehicle, the front bumper was removed or replaced, the sensor or nearby parts were impacted in a collision, when a DTC-4 ACC front radar is present, alignment or suspension work have been performed. Press continue to proceed. Required preconditions. Vehicle must be on a level surface. Vehicle must be properly aligned with the correct tire size and recommended pressure. Make sure the front radar sensors are correctly installed. Make sure there is no damage to the front of the vehicle or the sensor bracket. Make sure the radar sensor is not dirty. The front of the vehicle is free of metal objects. Remove all excessive weight from the vehicle's trunk. Press continue. Guided tour summary. Attach wheel clamps and alignment markers, computer vision positioning, radar target positioning options, install target boards, centering dual board to the radar sensor, setting the target board pitch. Press continue to start the guided tour setup procedure. Attach the wheel clamps. One on each of the left and right rear wheels. Place the grabbing hook at the top of the wheel and slowly tighten the wheel clamp. Don't forget to attach the bungee cords to secure and prevent the wheel clamps from falling off. Straighten the target so that it is perpendicular to the floor. Securely attach both wheel clamps with alignment markers to each of the rear wheels. Press continue to proceed to the computer vision positioning. Install the bumper contact plate onto the DAS 3000. Select Continue. Using the BAP Bosch ADS positioning cameras, push the DAS 3000 up to the bumper. Select Continue. Slowly move the DAS-3000 back until the horizontal bar turns green and the DAS-3000 is in the correct position. Select Continue. Once you are in position, apply the left and right brake to the floor to secure the DAS-3000 in position. Press continue to move to the next step of the guided tour. The BAP camera app will now close. Select Distance Regulation Control Module J428 right side. 
You will be prompted to position the target board red hanger and then hang the target board. Install the target board at the right side offset. Attach the target board hangers in the right position of the measurement frame. Install the dual board vertical to the lower cross beam on the left position using the hooks on the back of the dual board. Secure the top of the dual board with the target board hanger. Be sure the target is hung on to the crossbar with the hook at the bottom of the target board. Press continue to go to the next step of the guided tour. One of the final steps in this part of the process is to set the pitch of the target board to the correct angle. Press continue. Be sure that it is in the correct notch, number two, and the bubble is in the center of the two marks on the spirit level. Now we will perform the actual calibration. Press continue. When calibrating any component, you must always remove the scan tool away from the platform. Please be sure to disconnect the USB cables first. Press continue. Notice, ensure that nobody enters the area during the calibration. Do not turn off the scan tool or the ignition switch. Do not move or shake the vehicle during calibration. Close all of the doors. Press continue to begin the calibration procedure. Note the sensor misalignment angle. Press continue. Turn the ignition switch off and ensure you close the driver's door every time. Press continue. Turn the ignition key to the on position. Press continue. Now we will go and set the target board pitch to the number one position. Move back out of the way of the radar, press continue. Let's go back to the target board pitch and move it to number two position. You always move back out of the way of the radar each time you do the calibration. Press continue. Again, go back and move the target board pitch to the position three. Move back out of the way of the radar, press continue. Note, the vehicle did not pass the calibration and the radar must be adjusted. Once you are ready to make the adjustment on the vehicle radar sensor, you will turn the top adjusting screw 0.75 or 3 quarters of a turn to the left and the bottom adjusting screw 0.5 or half a turn to the right. The Bosch ADS-625 tells you these adjustment amounts. Review the adjustments on the ADS-625 scan tool and adjust the screws to specifications listed. Answer the question as shown, yes. Move back to the left side of the car out of the way of the radar and press continue. The ACC sensor misalignment is at zero and at the correct angle. Press continue. Turn the ignition switch off. Press continue. Turn the ignition key on. Don't forget to close the driver's door. Press continue. Now we will go and set the target board pitch to the number one position. Press continue. Turn the ignition switch off. Press continue. Turn the ignition key to the on position.
Press continue. You have just successfully adjusted and calibrated the right side ACC Adaptive Cruise Control Radar Sensor. Please be sure to check for DTCs once you have completed all of the radar calibrations. Press continue. Now you must do the left side. Select Distance Regulation Control Module J850 left side. Follow the steps of the guided tour just as you did for the right side sensor to calibrate the left side radar sensor.